All right, guys, so 2009 KX250F. Customer dropped this off a few days ago. Says that it bump starts and runs, but will not kick start. So, uh, we're going to look into it. We're going to try to see what it is. The first thing we think of when somebody tells us that is valves. But then, especially with these older KX250Fs, the head didn't last long. So, who knows what shape the shims are in. Uh, if they can even be adjusted, how much life's left in that head, but we're going to find all that out. Um, we're going to start by pulling the seat tank off, pulling the head cover, putting it in top dead center, and checking the valves. And if they do need adjusted like we think they're due, then we'll take it out of time, and we'll uh, you know check and see what size shims it's got in it, and that'll give us a little uh, clue as to how much life is left in the head. But... Uh, so he's just sitting around waiting. Could be uh, good news, just a simple adjustment. Could be bad news, and uh, we're about to find out. All right, guys, so we popped the head cover. We put it in top dead center. Uh, check these valves. The exhausts are okay. This side might be a tad tight, but it's still in the range. Uh, this intake's in the range, but this intake right here, I can't even get my smallest shim in, which is like... 0.05 millimeters which and it's supposed to be 10 to 15 so uh yeah so either it was shimmed wrong or it's uh the valve seats quickly crumbling a lot of times we'll see one crumbling valve seat and that valve will tight tighten 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 after almost every ride uh could be it it's hard to say so uh yeah we're gonna take the tensioner out and go ahead and uh pop these cam caps and see what we're working with with shim size Alright guys, so that intake valve was definitely running super tight. I'm going to try to show you. You can see that valve bucket right there that I haven't taken off yet. See how smooth the top is with no marks or anything really? Now look at this bucket. See those circular marks? That is where that valve has been running so tight for so long. Really just... That bucket technically is probably ruined. I can't feel the imperfections with my finger, but yeah, it probably needs to replace that bucket. But it had like a like a 2.7 or 2.8 shim in it. We're gonna go down to a 2.5, 2.6, somewhere in those that range, and uh, pop it in there and see how it does. And basically, if it starts, runs for a while, and then does the same thing again we'll know that it's probably a crumbling valve seat and the head needs uh, the head needs service. We'll see how it goes. Well, let's just remember when the bike came in here, it would only bump start. So if we can get it to kick start, that's a win right now.
All right, guys, so I put the two sticks in, if you remember. Um, okay, so it had a 2.8 in it. I couldn't figure out what the gap was because I couldn't even get my smallest feeler gauge in. Put a 2.6 in it, and that was still too tight, but I could finally get a gauge in. It was like a .08 or .09 millimeter. So now I kind of know where I'm at. So I can go down from this 6 to like a, a 2.5 and we should be in spec then and hopefully she'll start so let's give it a go <clears throat> Alright guys, after on our second try that worked beautifully. We're right at 0.15, which is the loosest end of the spectrum, which will give it a little room to move if it does. So now we can put the tensioner back in, put the head cover and stuff back on, and uh, see if it'll fire up. 